Hi friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to handle duplicate records in source document using aggregate transformation in SSS. So we know there are two transformations in SSS package. Those deal with the um, duplicate records. One is sort transformation and the other one is aggregate transformation. In this demo, I will show how to find out the duplicate records in source document and how to lo load the only unique records into the destination table and how to redirect the duplicate records into the flat file destination file. First of all, I will show my input data. Here is my person text document which is tab D, which is in tab D limited. There, is, there are three columns, name, salary and age. So here you find some of the rows are getting duplicated. Here John Doe is, is repeating and we can see some of the records also. There are 20 records. My intention is here, after reading the data from this source document, we can load the data into the destination table after uh, removing the duplicates. And uh, remaining, remaining duplicate records, I want to redirect it into the some other flat file destination. First, I am using the new package. Drag your data flow task into the control pane. Double click to configure. So because my my source is the text document, I am using the flat file source. Double click to configure. So you have to browse the file where it is located. So this is my person file. So we need to change the salary part as decimal, decimal and age as to four bytes and integer. If you desire the configuration of them for flat file source. <coughs> now I am dragging aggregate transmission. Aggregate transmission. Double click. By default it will in addition to the columns that are there in the source document, you need to find count all count star also in the available input columns. So first you Select the all columns and choose your operation group by for every column and select the count all and rename as record count record count click ok so now <coughs> first it will read the uh, data from the flat file source afterwards it will group by uh, aggregate uh, transformation will group by and count of uh, if any duplicates now we want to split the data so from duplicate and uh, unique records if you want to split you need to write some condition in split, condition split transformation so I am dragging the condition fit, double click to, and you need to write the your condition on record count. Record count. So here I am writing if we, if the record count is greater than one, then we need to consider it as a duplicate. Duplicate, but it is showing error. We need to convert it into dt underscore dt underscore u i eight. No. So obviously, in conditions put default put put you will get. So once you read the condition and uh, mention your output name. 
we need to the second condition is the default output so i am mentioning this as a unique data unique unique data so this is duplicate data this is how you need to split the unique and duplicate records equal to now final step you need to drag two destinations first one is unique destination sorry voidlib destination and second one is the plot file destination so all unique records are loaded into the table employee table so i am taking unique data here so remaining duplicate data redirect into some flat file destination okay now i am configuring the file db destination so selecting my database is test so i am selecting my file as employee table with few existing we don't have any data So this is for unique, unique records are inserted into this table. So duplicate records, if any, I am going to redirect those records to one flat file destination. Browse. So here I want to create one file for duplicate in the name of duplicate. I am selecting this file. Column names in the first data row. Okay. And then uh, columns is a comma delimited. So simply we don't have any. So it is showing what is the record count? Record count is showing. If you if you have any duplicate records, how many times uh, that records is available from the source document? Then it will show number. Okay. Click OK. Click OK. So now everything is set. So now I am going to run the package. Yeah, package ran successfully. So from flat file source, twenty rows are moved to the aggregate transformation. And then after applying the group by and count all operations. 15 rows are moved to conditional split. So based on the condition that we write, if the record count is greater than one, it will it will move to the duplicate duplicate data and it will move to the destination text file, flat file destination file. So if, if there are any, if all unique records are moved to the to load into the employee employee table, which is voila DB destination. So we will. Check the table and document now. First, we will go to table here. See here, fourteen records are loaded. Out of twenty, fourteen records. All these fourteen records are not duplicates. There are no duplicates in this among these fourteen. Every record is a unique one. See here. Like that, if you go and check your destination table. The duplicate just now we created. Here you found name John Doe, Sal five thousand, age is thirty, record count is six. That means this record, this this John Doe with five thousand salary and thirty thirty years of age, appear in the six times in, in source document. Six times it is appearing. So that's why the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth one, and finally sixth. So six times is there in the the same record. Six times there in source record, in person record. So I am redirecting the duplicate record into the. Uh, Separate text file. So I mentioned the record count. So 
TPS six that means this record repair six times in the source time. So remaining fourteen the fourteen unit rows are loaded into the apply table. So this is how you need to handle the duplicate well and duplicate records from the source document by using aggregate function and conditional fit transformation. So one more thing, um, both sort and aggregate transformations in SSAs are very costly. So these uh, two transformations are called and considered as a asynchronous transformation. That means whenever you apply these two transformations in your package, your package performance is degraded and becomes slower. So if at all you want to uh, you want to do some calculations uh, regarding aggregate calculations or sort sort by calculation, better to do these two uh, these two functions at your SQL Server management state, not to implement these two transformations in your package, so that your package will be package performance will be reduced. So thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.